All right. My two blankets. Oh, yeah. Auntie used to call me Cartwheel. Then came the war. Auntie didn't call me Cartwheel anymore. Oh, we came to this country to be safe. Everything was strange. People were strange. Food was strange. The animals and plants were strange. Even the wind felt strange. Nobody spoke like I did. When I went out, it was like standing under a waterfall with strange sounds. The waterfall was cold. It made me feel alone. I felt like I wasn't me. When I was at home, I wrapped myself in a blanket of my own words and sounds. I called it my old blanket. My old blanket was warm. It was soft. It covered me all over. It made me feel safe. Sometimes I didn't want to go out. I wanted to stay under my old blanket forever. I wanted to smile back, but I was scared. I kept walking with Auntie. Oh wait, I think we skip some. One day a girl in the park smiled at me. Then she waved. Then it said I wanted to smile back, but I was scared. I kept walking with Auntie. When I looked back, girl waved again. Next time we went to the park, I looked at the girl. I would look for the girl. She was there. We went back three times before I saw her again. She waved and smiled, and I felt warm inside. The girl came up to me and said something. Her words were strange. It was like being back under a cold waterfall. But the girl kept on smiling. She took me to the swings. I got her, I got on and she pushed me higher and higher. I wanted to laugh. I wanted to tell her how I was glad that we were friends. But I didn't know how. When I went home, I hid under my old blanket. I wondered if it would always be I wondered if I always feel sad. Wondered if I would ever feel like me again. The next time I saw the girl, she brought some words to me. She made me say them over and over. Every time I met the girl, she brought more words. Some of the words were hard. Some of them were easy. Sometimes I sounded funny, and we laughed. Sometimes I felt silly, and then I would cry. At night, when I lay in bed, an old blanket, I whispered the new words again and again. Soon they didn't sound so cold and sharp anymore. They started to sound like warm and soft. I was weaving a new blanket. At first, my new blanket was thin and small, but every day I added new words in it. The blanket grew and grew. I forgot about the cold and lonely waterfall. My new blanket grew just as warm and soft and as comfortable as my old blanket. And now, no matter which blanket I use, I will always be. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I, wanna, I just want to show this book.